The truth of the matter is you are not gonna find the perfect film camera online for less than $100. However, in my opinion, they pretty much all do the same thing. Today I wanna tell you guys about two of my favorite film cameras that I bought for less than $100 online. I'm gonna be talking about why I bought these two and share some photos I've taken with them. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The cameras I'll be talking about today are the Minolta AF50 Big Finder, this guy right here, and secondly, the Minolta Freedom 50. My favorite features on both of these cameras would have to be the following. Auto advance, flash, both of these cameras shooting in auto, meaning that you can give it to some friends and they'll easily be able to take a photo without making it too complicated. They fit in your pocket and they take decently sharp photos for the price. While I'm talking about some of my favorite reasons as to why I shoot film, I'm gonna show some photos I've taken on both of these cameras in the background. I shoot film because I personally really enjoy documenting my life, whether it be traveling, spending time with friends and family, or anything else. As photographers and filmmakers, sometimes we don't feel like dragging around our heavy pro camera, all the lenses that go with it, a camera backpack, and so much more. Or we don't wanna worry about dropping it or somebody stealing the camera. So for me, shooting film just made sense. I wanna be able to always bring a camera with me, but I want it to fit in my pocket, whether it be on a night out with friends and capture some of the hilarious moments that are going down, or throw the small film camera in my camera bag and get some cool photos of a friend DJing, for example. As a photographer, I always wanna have a fun, compact camera on me. And these two cameras allow me to do exactly that. Both of these cameras give that beautiful film aesthetic and that vibe that just everybody loves nowadays. So if you're looking for that film look and your budget is under $100, I cannot recommend these cameras highly enough. Your best bet to finding these would be to go to your local pawn shop, thrift store, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, and all those websites. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap up the video here I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know in the comments if you own either of these two cameras or if you're still shooting film in 2022. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, 12 p.m. AST. Peace.